In ancient Israel, there lived a people known as Samaritans. Descendants of both Gentiles and Israelites, their religion was of a mixed origin. They claimed, as worshippers of Jehovah, to have a share in the rebuilding of the destroyed temple in Jerusalem. The Jews opposed their claim and the Jews and Samaritans became bitter opponents. In the biblical story of the woman at the well, Jesus asks a Samaritan woman for drink, in which she responds, How is it that thou, being a Jew, askest drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. Perhaps this is why the story of the Good Samaritan is so loved. A certain man fell among thieves and was left for dead. Passers-by ignored him and continued on their way. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, saw him and had compassion on him, and he took care of him. The one good Samaritan did not stop the Jewish Samaritan opposition. The Samaritans created a rival temple with rituals of their own on Mount Gerizim. Since then, the ritual worship of their god has been the keystone to their religious and cultural identity. Today, there are roughly only 720 Samaritans left in the world, most of whom still live on Mount Gerizim. Every year during Passover, two rituals are performed celebrating their heritage and freedom. Freedom from slavery and freedom from sin. At the beginning of Passover, lambs are offered as sacrifice for sin. Here in the sacrifice yard, elders and high priests gather, awaiting the ritual service to take place around the sacred stone altar. Large underground ovens heat up in preparation. The chanting begins. High priests lead the group of men as they worship their God. The time has now come to offer sacrifice and allow the blood of the Lamb to wash them of their sins. Greeting one another with a kiss, they celebrate their renewed spiritual freedom. 
Having been spiritually cleansed, they now prepare the sacrificial lambs to be cooked in order to be eaten for the Seder dinner later that night. From outside the ritual sanctuary, spectators not of the Samaritan community are invited to observe this sacred annual event. This invitation helps the outside community learn about the dwindling Samaritan population that seeks to preserve their religious customs and cultural identity. On the last day of Passover, men and boys gather at the synagogue during early morning hours. Here they spend hours chanting and praying in preparation for their ritual pilgrimage to the top of Mount Gerizim. Known as the Festival of the Matzot, this yearly pilgrimage symbolizes their religious heritage and their freedom from slavery. The group stops at the first holy site on the mountain, which according to the Samaritan tradition, was the place where the community accepted the lineage of the high priest. It is Mount Gerizim, not Jerusalem, that is believed to be the center of the world. It is here where Adam and Eve offered sacrifice and where Abraham offered his son Isaac. For Samaritans, reaching the peak of the mount symbolizes their reconciliation with God, having attained freedom from slavery and freedom from sin. I don't know.